For those of you who do not know, this is the final resting place for six members of the 1970 thundering herd. The plane crash that took their lives was so severe, so absolute, that they were unable to be identified. This is our past, gentlemen. This is where we were. This is how we got here. This is how we've become. I will now show you a video of Jack saying this. Which one of you dairy teas put Reese's peanut butter cups and Reese's Pieces candy in the same blizzard? It was me. I mixed the cups and the pieces, Eddie. This will be our blizzard of the month. Yeah! The new DQ Reese's Extreme Blizzard. Enjoy $2 pretzels during happy hour. And... For those of you who may not know, this is the final resting place for six members of the 1970 Thundering Herd. The plane crash that took their lives was so severe, so, so absolute, that their bodies were unable to be identified. So they were buried here, together. Six players, six teammates, six sons of Marshall. This is our past, gentlemen. This is where we have been. This is how we got here. This is who we are. This was said by Jack Lingle in the movie We Are Marshall, produced by Basil Willink in 2006. The Marshall football team's lives could have changed if just one thing in the story would have changed. I will first tell you a summary of the story, then I will tell you the ending of the story, and finally I will tell you my alternative ending. I will start out by telling you the summary of the story. We Are Marshall is an inspiring true story set in Huntington, West Virginia, a small town steeped on the rich traditions of college football. For decades, players, coaches, fans, and families would gather together to go cheer on the Marshall University football team. For the, for the players and the community, Marshall football wasn't just, was more than just a sport. It was a way of life. But on a fateful night in 1970, while com coming home to Huntington after a game in North Carolina, 75 members of the coaching staff and football team were killed in a plane crash. For those left behind, they struggled to cope with the devastating loss of their loved ones. But, but the grieving helped from the hope and strength of, and leadership from Jack. Jack was a young coach who was determined to rebuild the Marshall football team and heal the Huntington community as well. Jack leads the football team and Huntington community from tragedy to triumph. Red, who is also the assistant coach, helps rebuild them from, helps rebuild the football team by when he gave up his seat on the dooming plane to another Marshall football player. Now that you know about the summary of the story, I will now tell you the ending. The ending is all based around Marshall University winning the game. They beat Xavier University, which was, very, which was a very big deal. Jack always gives the game winning football to an MVP of the game. He gave it to Denman. Jack, later then quit the football program and moved to Naval Academy to be head coach there. This was one, one of the many, this was one of the very few victories that the Marshall football team had experienced. They then later became very successful in the upcoming years. Ruffin dies in 2001 and Annie moves to California to, without her boyfriend Chris due to the plane crash. Now that you know about the ending of the story, I will now tell you my alternative ending. I feel that if the plane crash would have never happened, all 75 football players would have survived and they would have went on defending, defending the football nation in the next couple of years. In conclusion, first I told you about the summary of the story. Then I told you the, the real ending, and finally I told you my alternative ending. 
Marshall's football team lives would have changed if just one event in the story would have changed. Six, six players, six teammates, six sons of Marshall still would have been a part of the Thunder defense.